Oh shit. Here it comes. Chat hates this shit. Come on, talk to me. Please remove doors. I beg. Come on, give me footage. Please. Oh, here it comes. Oh shit. I think this is what. I think this was like the water bit that they showed in the uh, original trailer. Dude, the chat is so weird. I'm not surprised though. First person. Wait, let's get- that's graphics? Nah, okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait, this looks sick. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there's doors in the campaign. That's not good. They better remove it for multiplayer, dude. <gasps> Bro. To be fair, I couldn't I couldn't have really imagined how the graphics would look, but these actually look really good. I don't know what the hell the chat's talking about. PS3 it looks pretty good to me, especially considering that they're releasing it on PS4 too, right? Now, like the guns recoil, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the motion blur definitely kind of helps with it a little, at least in my eyes. But I, I, that looks like really good. I just hope it isn't that distracting in in multiplayer. Those sounds though. Let me see what the chat thinks. Yeah, I, I'm glad I closed that. I don't get where the chat's coming from. These graphics look phenomenal. A soundtrack too, dude. The, the the atmosphere is like insane. There's gonna be someone inside. Or not. Where are the controls? Where are the controls? Oh, we're going back in the water? We're about to see swimming, I think. Or now nah, we're just gonna go back in a boat. All right, fair enough. I'm not sure why I expected to see swimming. Maybe it's cause it's a new thing. That looks really good. <laughs> okay, wait. It's been a while since I saw like, saw like a face talking in a video game and think it actually looked good. Oh, all right, we're about to, be, we're about to see swimming. Yeah, this is the scene. That grenade sound though, that's a deep. I'm really liking the way everything sounds right now. Oh. I don't know how to feel about that shotgun animation. It's more sort of sound, I think, but... Uh... Yeah, it could sound way nicer. Also, sorry for not streaming it today. I just... Things got in the way. I don't have much else to say, to be honest. It just looks really nice. Definitely looks like a better Modern Warfare 2019. With hopefully no doors and we'll... That's like the second time I said that. Oh. This soundtrack is something. Ooh. Okay. Okay, dude. Good one, bro. You got me, dude. Oh, interview? Please talk about multiplayer, please. Will there be doors? Um, there will be um, a standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're going to sort of feed the entire community there. But Wait, are they going to keep updating Warzone 1? That's interesting. I always thought they were just going to kill it off. Like they're still going to keep it online, but they're not going to update it anymore. Except for like bug fixes, I guess. At least that's how I saw it on Twitter. I guess it's not like that. Interesting. Community, we love when the fans can pick up some things. Some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and other elements. Oh shit, wait. Oh, she's not going to say anything, is she? What are the maps? Tell me, dude. I love campaign, but I need to know about multiplayer. Oh, is that it? All right, I'm gonna keep watching it and then just cut the gameplay. How's it going? You just saw my reaction to the Modern Warfare 2 campaign gameplay footage. I know it'd be more fitting if I played Modern Warfare while talking about Modern Warfare 2, but I played for like 20 minutes to warm up and I just felt this like large sense of dread come over me. So I'm not doing that. That's besides the point. I'm pretty sure it's like a common opinion, but I really liked the crate scene, you know, where like it was like sliding down and shit. I really liked that. I thought the audio was brilliant. Shotgun sound was kind of weird for me at the moment, but I don't know. I. I assume if I pulled up a comparison to Modern Warfare 2019 shotguns, it would, it would maybe be better, but uh, I wasn't really feeling the shotgun specifically, but everything else sounded incredible. Like the audio, the visuals looked insane. I don't know what I could have expected. I didn't expect that much of an upgrade from from 2019, but it was actually way bigger of an upgrade than I could have possibly expected. It looked really nice. There's not much else to say, because like it, we're not getting to play it ourselves, are we? It's just footage. Definitely gonna be a lot more immersive than 2019's, which is a pretty high bar to cross. I've not played more for 2019's campaign yet, but that's just what I've heard. I played the Cold War campaign for like three hours, and then I, I kind of just stopped. I really like the campaign, I just 
I don't know. I, I should probably continue, to be honest. I just haven't bothered finishing it. I genuinely don't think I have anything else to say about it, really. Oh, yeah, the shooting. I like, like, the visual of it, but I don't know if this is, like, the motion blur, but, like, the way it was shaking, the more I think about it, that might be a little bit disorienting for multiplayer. I really hope they, like, tone that down. It was definitely a little bit OD. Other than that, yeah, I mean, they, they killed the visuals. It, it, they look, it looks great. It sounds great. Some minor nitpicks, but for the most part, I'm liking how this is going. I just need the multiplayer to be good. That's all.